beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Dee welcome if you're new in today's video I want to rediscuss the recent scandal that is super huge in the Chinese community uh, which is the singer Wang Li Hong and his ex-wife Li Xinlei's whole div uh, divorce debacle and I want to just talk more about what we can learn from a psychological perspective from this whole scandal as just a normal everyday person um, especially when it comes to relationship and then some sort of like um, the kind of mental abuses that you might receive from dealing with a narcissistic partner and i have summarized a few um, just kind of stages which you will probably experience if you're involved with somebody that is uh, clearly showing narcissistic personality disorder symptoms and the first stage is the uh, love bombing stage that you will receive so think about it when uh, Wang Li Hong was just getting started with his pursuing up with his pursuit of Li Xinlei. Um, clearly, he was trying to woo her really bad, and then um, trying to kind of sweep her, sweep her out of her feet. And then in this stage, the victims tend to find that um, they are usually in a stage where they don't have life stage where they don't have a lot of. Uh, relationship experiences and then they tend to be a, a, a lot younger um, so when Wang Lihong and Li Jinlei first met I think she was only either 16 or 17 she was underage and then Wang Lihong at the time was already 37 of way past the adulthood so definitely that was very predatory and then um, usually narcissists tend to uh, prey tend to go after people that are more vulnerable that have little very little or very limited experiences because it's easier to get them on hook and then so during this stage the the victims tend to um, get this overwhelming feeling of being um, kind of loved and it feels kind of like a roller coaster with such a big high but then at times there might be some really low lows and the, with this kind of um, with this kind of love bombing experience it's almost like uh, doing drugs in a sense and then in the during this stage the victims tend to believe that this is the best thing that has ever happened to them and the person that is per actively pursuing them is the most perfect people that they've ever met that will ever exist in the world and pretty much I would I would assume to Li Xinlei Wang Li Hong was kind of like that and imagine uh, being just a 16 year old nobody a dancer girl um, nobody knows about you but then this this super mega star superstar singer is going after you showing interest in you then that really kind of um, does a lot to your ego and it makes you believe that you that you are somebody that is really special to that stup superstar and another thing is um, during this initial stage these narcissists tend to really elevate their victims or their praise more to be more accurate um, they would make sure to make their praise feel really special really unique and that they're seen and then their voice is heard and everything like that so it's very addictive in a sense it's exactly like how you would do with um, doing drugs and then um, the next stage, uh, which is also going to follow inevitably uh, after maybe one to three months, usually narcissists won't be able to last any any time longer than three months. After that period, you will feel or you will at least note, start to notice something is off. Uh, you might not be able to pinpoint what it is, but um, they, usually that's the period which they are at their limits to pretend to be a normal person or pretend to be like perfect and during this second stage um, people who are praised to these narcissists tend to feel like 
uh, they are being given cold shoulders and then that they have done something wrong to kind of piss off their perfect lover. For example, when Wang Lihong wasn't sure that he wanted to settle down with uh, Li Jinglei, he would only do like occasional hookups. And then when Wang Lihong was with his ex at the time, which I, I don't know which girl was that, he would still call up uh, Li Jinglei to go out and hang out. But then um, he would also just kind of um, put him put her aside when he became busy. So Li Jinglei is almost like this filler girl to him. But to Li Jinglei, in, during this stage, she might feel like she wasn't um, doing things right so that Wang Lihong wasn't paying the same am- amount of attention that he did when he was actively pursuing uh, Li Jinglei. And this is called splitting. Um, so for a narcissist, in their in in their head space, they won't be able to tell um, a they won't be able to look at the world from some from a lens that is more complicated than just a black and white binary lens, and that's why they have to um, they have to categorize a lot of things into only these two boxes and. What's most annoying about narcissists is that they can never be wrong and they will never put their own behaviors into those wrong boxes, boxes that's labeled wrong. They're always putting the other person in the box that is somebody to blame. And no matter what happens, no matter what kind of conflicts, a little bit of disagreements, they always blame it onto their partner, onto their prey. And they're always the one that's that's right and always the one that has the upper hand. So that's also a part of the reason why when they were looking for their praise in the initial stage, they tend to look for people who are less experienced so that these people cannot call on their bullshit and people uh, these are the people that won't be able to stand their ground when they were basically gaslit to believe that um, everything is their fault so uh, this is the stage that is starting to uh, make the praise feel really painful and this is also the stage a perfect stage for the narcissist to push their praise boundaries so for example this is very normal very common to uh, to find with relationships where the man is older and the girl is younger, uh, usually when the girl is in- inexperienced and uh, feel reluctant to have sex with the man, um, this older man would try to use this hot and cold method and this kind of really cold violence, so-called, to um, smear the boundary, to kind of push keep pushing back the boundary of the girl, uh, indicating that if you don't have sex with me, then I'm going to leave you. So out of fear, a lot of the times the girls would kind of just vague, um, kind of push, just smear the, the blurring the boundaries themselves and do things that they wouldn't have done had they date someone that's more normal or treated them with more respect. So this is when probably uh, Wang Lihong was pushing sex on Li Jinglei when she was only underage. And then um, there, hence there was that scandal. The paparazzi caught the picture where uh, Wang Lihong was taking Li Jinglei to a hospital to check on pregnancy. So I don't know if it was consensual, consensual or not at the moment for both of them. It could be. It could be consensual, but... Um, I, I don't, I, I, but I, from, but speaking from a person, um, that went through teenage years as a girl, I, I can guarantee you, um, when girls are much younger and when they're facing somebody that has so much more power than they do, it's very, um, it's, it's very hard to stand your ground and assert your own boundaries when you just want to make them happy and you, when you're afraid of them, especially when you're afraid of them leaving you. It's, um, and it's just this comparison between the initial stage, how perfect, how high it, it felt, to how low you, 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 you're feeling at the second stage when he was playing or she was playing hot and cold game with you and when they were splitting. So 
This is also how a lot of how addiction works in other aspects. When you're,、um, for example, doing cigarettes or doing drug, and most people、um, keep doing it not because of the pleasure the drug or cigarette or those vices can bring them per se. It's more so they're trying to end the misery of the anxiousness and. Pain they're feeling when they're not doing when they're not doing it,、um, the anticipation for the pain and anxiety to stop trumps over any pleasure they they get once they get what they want, and it's like a vicious cycle. So that's how our brain is trained to be addicted to certain substances, and the same with toxic relationship. It's the same mechanism that get people、uh, just keep. Jumping into the fire, so after this stage、um, or during this stage, the narcissistic、uh, predator would always kind of throw a little bit back, a little bit love back at you, at the victim or the prey,、um, to show that oh, okay, I'm I'm still here,、uh, don't leave, because. They know deep down if they push it too far, they will eventually push their prey away. And when their prey leave them, then they won't be able to get any sort of mental supply from the abuse they can inflict on their prey. So that's why this stage is called breadcrumbing.、Um, kind of th- these narcissists would throw some breadcrumbs to them every now and then, kind of like how. Wang Lihong just asked Li Jinlei out every now and then, maybe here and there, when when it's convenient for him, and when、uh, he was traveling to all these cities, and then ha- happened to be near to Li Jinlei, so he would ask her out. Doesn't matter how that would be inconvenient to her.、Um, usually, it was really late and at a very inconvenient timing,、um, but it doesn't it didn't matter to him.、Um, Because it's all about him, right? That's the core of the nar- of narcissism.、Um, it's all about them, and the the fact that they they keep these preys hanging around,、um, kind of、uh, keep them just around them. Now, be- it, it's not because the narcissists really care for these preys that they are so afraid of them leaving per se. It's more so. That、uh, if these people leave, then they wouldn't have anybody to manipulate and to abuse, and that kills narcissists because they they want these type of unconditional attentions and unconditional、um, sacrifices other people can make for them, and that's what、um, will feed into their ego, and that's the mental supply they need. They're in desperate need of so. This is the、uh, stage of breadcrumbing, and think about it like、uh, to a lot of people that don't really know Wang Lihong's personal life that well, which is the majority of his fan base. People thought he got into marriage real soon, like、uh, it almost like happened in a split of seconds. Like、uh, he almost got into marriage within a, a few months, but in reality, he、um, strained Li Jinlei along for. Ten years for ten goddamn years without giving her a real name,、um, even though he was kind of、uh, cl- clearly having a lot of sex with her, and she was、uh, involved in this whole relationship ever since she was sixteen or seventeen, and that can really f somebody up if you are involved with someone with such fame、um, at such a young age without. Being given a name, then your understanding of your own self-esteem will will be almost permanently sabotaged. Even the the best quality of therapies sometimes won't help you that much, and that's why they both of them have been in a lot of therapies. And clearly, therapies really didn't help with the core issue, which is、um, this toxic relationship dynamic. So again, this is why it's so dangerous to get involved with a narcissist. And a, a lot of the times, it's the narcissists that are looking for the praise.、Um, and the praise, for example, Li Jinlei, he she might felt incredibly lucky that she was able to meet him, but in reality, it was him that was looking for her, or at least people like her, girls like her,、uh, and then she happened to be 
right there that was found by uh, Wang Li Hong. All right, so um, the final the final stage I wouldn't call it necessarily a stage, but it's kind of like a reinforcement factor, which is called uh, flying monkeys. So flying monkeys are the the people that surround themselves around uh, both the victim and the narcissist. So these are the people, they can be friends or family members that will tell the prey, the victim, that they're in the wrong, even though they were the ones that were being gaslit. Um, and in this case, it would be Wang Li Hong's mother, father, family member. Um, they were telling Li Xinlei, it's all your fault. You're this vile woman that is trying to scam Wang Li Hong with your pregnancy. When in reality, I mean, Wang Li Hong could have definitely could have worn a condom. He was 37 years old, almost 40 uh, during the time. So uh, I, I don't see why he couldn't understand the basic biology of how to make a baby. So if you don't want to be scammed by a woman, don't you want to maybe be more careful? But clearly it was um, the girl's fault, even though she was much younger, much more immature, and less capable of making um, rational judgment call. Um, still, the, the family all blame it on her, making her to be the bad guy, uh, to be, be the villain in this whole story. So uh, that is also something dangerous about this whole uh, abusive dynamic is the helpers of the narcissist, um, because sometimes narcissists would surround um, themselves with a bunch of these enablers and flying monkeys. Uh, another thing is they will try to isolate their praise from people that might potentially threat their relationship or this abusive dynamic. Uh, for example, Wang Lihong or somebody that's a narcissist might isolate, might separate or pain their prey against their family members who raised concerns for this relationship or friends who didn't see eye to eye with this narcissist and force her or force him to stay with them uh, or their family with all the flying monkeys so that it's easier for these narcissists to manipulate. So that is my overall analysis of this whole uh, Wang Li Hong Li Jinglei scandal. And I think that there are a lot of things that we can learn from it, especially as uh, younger women and for younger girls. Of course, this sort of psychological abuse can happen to reverse genders, for example, girls abusing boys. Um, but no matter what cases, it's really important to identify all the red flags in the initial stage of such a relationship. Because once you get into it, once you have passed the first stage, it's going to be harder and harder to get out. And I have been in such type of relationship before and I know exactly how hard it is to um, not feel guilty all the time and to get pull yourself out of it unless you're physically separated from the situation from the abuser from the narcissist so uh, my advice is to learn about narcissistic behaviors as much as possible so that you can build up a um, comprehensible understanding of behaviors that might raise red flags and thus being able to avoid them so that you don't have to get into the same shoes that Li Jinglei is in right now. Um, but I mean, I don't really know that much detail about their merit, metal, marital status. Every information, everything that I know, I got from the internet. So it might be very biased or um, it might not be the whole story, but this is the lesson we can learn from the information that we've we've got right now. And please let me know what you think on this whole situation and leave a comment below. And thank you again um, for the viewer that asked me to talk more about this issue. And I really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.